just don't know. Why the police? I'm trying to concentrate here. <laughs> That's how I like what you got. <laughs> Me? Yeah, have you like hit anything yet? Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Ping, drama, fit, 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 Inglewood carcinoma. <laughs> That's as far as I got. I like the fit, fit, fit. Yeah, I'm kind of like onomatopoeic. <laughs> I don't know, it feels to me like it needs some punching up. Well, you could always throw some jokes in later on. You gotta get the through line first. <laughs> but do you think it's Shakespeare? Don't ask me, I'm just a chimp. <laughs> yeah, you know, they, they could have given us a story conference or something, you know what I mean? But that would have defeated the whole purpose of the experiment. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. Three chimps typing into infinity will sooner or later produce Hamlet. Right? <laughs> Completely by chance. And Dr. David Rosenbaum up in that booth up there is gonna prove it. Well, what is Hamlet? I don't know. <laughs> Kafka, what is Hamlet? I don't know. You know, this is really stupid. <laughs> Have you got, like, something better to do in this cage? The sooner we produce the goddamn thing, the sooner they can let us out of here. <laughs> How was your parents with a twist? <laughs> well, what do we owe this guy? Rose and mom, anyway. I mean, a guy sits up there in that booth and says, that one's Twisty, that one's Milton, that one's Kafka. Just to get a laugh? And why am I a Kafka? What's a Kafka? Search me. What's a Kafka? It's four eyed French or think of a stitch. And how are we supposed to write Hamlet if we don't even know what it is? Okay, so the chances are a little slim. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy who's supposed to be smart, this little guy at Columbia University? He could give us a clue or something. The way I figure it, there is a providence that oversees our pages. Rough draft of how we may. Oh, what about you, Milton? What have you got? Well, let's see. <laughs> of man's first disobedience <laughs> and the fruit of that forbidden tree whose mortal taste brought death. Oh, that's great. That has got rhythm. It sings. Yeah, but is it Shakespeare? Who cares? He's got a real voice there. Does Rosamond care about voice? Does he care about anyone's individual creativity? Uh, let's look at it from Rosenbaum's point of view for a minute. No! He brings us in here to produce copy. And then he expects a clean draft of somebody else's stuff. We're getting paid to be somebody's hack. <laughs> Writing is a mug's game anyway, Swifty. What the hack made me mad? Why don't you just, like, buckle down and get the project over with? <laughs> Set up a schedule for yourself. Type for a couple of hours in the morning when you're still fresh. <laughs> then take a break. Uh, let the old juices flow. Then put some more hours in in the afternoon. And then retire for a shot of papaya and some masturbation. <laughs> What's the big deal? <laughs> you know, if this Rosenbaum was worth anything, we'd be working on word processors in here. Not these antiques. He's lucky to find three that can type this good. And then he treats us like those misfits at the Bronx Zoo. I mean, a tire swing. What does he take this for? I like the tire swing. I think it's a very nice touch. I can't work under these conditions. No wonder I'm producing garbage. Uh, but uh, th this thing? Yeah, read some more. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Whose mortal taste brought death into the blamagam? Bet socks, not worse, take a bow. What do you think? Oh, uh, blamagam's good. 
Well, I don't know. What's the matter? Is it like the tone? I mean, this is kind of a stretch for me. I'm just not sure it has the same expressive intensity and pungent lyricism as that first part. Well, it, it's a rough draft. Uh, it needs rewriting. What doesn't it? <gasps> Lights on. Oh, God. <laughs> Watching. What? I've been watching. I don't know. I got my paws over my eyes. What? What is the point of this video? Why do you make videos tape our bowel movements? What? <laughs> Lights off. <laughs> How you doing, friends? How you hit anything yet? What is that? Postmodernism? Twenty lines of it. Well, at least it'll fuck up his data. Twenty lines? And I got blocked. I went dry. I felt like I was repeating myself. Do you think that that's a camera? I'm not a writer. I'm a chimp. I'm poopy, swinging through trees, digging up ants, not sitting under fluorescent lights ten hours a day. Oh. It's sure is a long way home to the gardens of sweet Africa, with lawns and level downs and flocks grazed in the tender herb for sweetly interposed. Paradise wasn't it? Lost. 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 I'm like trying to deal with that in this new piece I'm working on. But it's still all pretty close to the bottom. <laughs> you know, just because they can keep us locked up in here, he thinks he's more powerful than we are. They are more powerful than we are. Just because they control the means of production, he thinks that he can suppress the workers. Things are how they are, Swifty. What are you going to do? Hey! You're always so goddamn eager to justify the ways of Rosenbaum to the apes. <laughs> Do you got like got a key to that door? <laughs> no. Do you like got an independent food source? No. <laughs> to call me a collaborator, I happen to be a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Rosenbaum wants Hamlet, I'll give it a shot. Just don't forget. We're not astrophysicists, we're not brain surgeons, we're chimps. And for apes in captivity, this is not a bad gig. <laughs> you know what's really frightening? We stick around this cage long enough, we're going to evolve into Rosenbaum. Evolve into Rosenbaum? Brush up on your Darwin, baby. We're more than kin and less than kind. Whoa. Anybody, like, got the smoke? <laughs> I'm all out. Don't look at me. I'm not going to satisfy those voyeurs with the old smoking chimp routine. No thanks. <laughs> Don't be a stop, Swifty. You got to use them. Use the system. What do you mean? Watch me while I put my antic disposition on. <laughs> A galoss, too. My face. Should have thrown in a Cupid doll for that performance. <laughs> it got results, didn't it? Yeah, sure. You do your bonzo routine, you get a galoss out of it. Last week, I totaled a typewriter, and they gave me a whole pack of Marlboros. The trouble was, you didn't smoke them. You took a crap on them. <laughs> it was a political statement. OK. You like made your statement. I got my smoke. All's well that ends well. Right? It's the only way we know they're watching. Huh? Oh, we perform. We type another page. We break the typewriter. And a cigarette appears. At least it's a sign that someone out there is paying attention. <laughs> Our resident philosopher. <laughs> But what if one of us actually writes Hamlet? I mean, here we are, set down to prove the inadvertent virtues of randomness and to produce something that we wouldn't even recognize if it passed right through our hands. But what if one of us actually does it? Will they, like, really release us? Will they give us a ticket to Korea and the key to the city? Or 
will they move us on to Ulysses? Why did they give us Hamlet in the first place? What's Hamlet to them, or they to Hamlet, that we should care? Boy, there's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's conscience. Hey, Swifty! The pangs of despised love, the law's delay. Hey, Swifty, relax, will ya? I would love to get Rosenbaum in here and see how he does at writing hand. That's it. That is it. Forget about this random Hamlet crap. What about revenge? Revenge? I'm Rosenbaum. Who else? Has he bereft us of our homes and families? Stepped in between us and our expectations? How would we do it? Easy. We lure him in here to look at the typewriters, test them out like something's wrong, but we poison the typewriter key. Hey! Jesus! Sure, some juice of cursed heaven spread liberally over the keyboard ought to work like a charm. Great. And if that doesn't work, we invent him the tire swing and invite him for a ride. Plus, I challenge him to a duel. Can't you see it? Right. In the course of combat, I casually graze my rapier over the typewriter keys, and a hit, a palpable hit. Poor reserve will lay by a cop with some venomous distillment. We'll put the poison with the pellet and the vessel with the pestle. <laughs> I gotta get back to work. The, the man is gonna want his pages. It's not a bad idea, but... What is wrong with you guys? I'm on to something here! I think it's hopeless, Swift. But this is the good! Where was I? Bed socks, knock first, Tinkerbell. Uh, the betting this is all, I guess. Damn straight, sister. You just let me know when that K button gives out. Okay. <laughs> all right, you two thirds get back to work. I'll do all the thinking around here. Swifty, revenge. Tinkerbell, Stuckelschwanz, hemorrhoid. Oh, that's good. That's good. Stuckelschwanz. Act one, scene one, Elsinore Castle, Denmark. <laughs> hemorrhoid. Enter Bernardo and Francisco. Pomegranate. <laughs> Bernardo said, who's there? Bazooka. <laughs> 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 